separated by small waterways. Now these waterways are wind in amongst each other, creating different uh, and separate channels uh, down the riverbed. Now the uh, channels wind in and out amongst each other, created a uh, braided type pattern. It's the name of uh, braided rivers. Very rare to see these types of rivers flowing from bank to bank. Only ever flow from bank to bank in times of extreme flood. to a location here and other very strong winds that often blow down through these valleys. Great views coming up out to the left looking up the staircase gully and out to the right looking up the Waimakariri. And if you're not too afraid of heights, then don't forget to look straight down. Great place to bungee jump. No, 
no, no, no, no, that's what I'm saying. This is, that's it. I mean, about 15 kilometres upstream from here on the banks of Broken River is an area of sand that's embedded with small shells and crustaceans and other bits and pieces you'll be expecting by. Now passing over St Bernard Southern, make the other centre of the Cass Bank for the step down to a section of track. Now to the right we can see once again our old friend the Waimakaroo River. It's interesting to note that less than 20,000 years ago all this area was buried under ice. Now to the tops of the hills and mountains, protruded above these vast glaciers, which extended as far as the east as Springfield at the top of the Canterbury Plains. If you look to the far bank of the Waimakaroo River, above the river's edge and the tussocks coming into view, you're about to make out several lines of terraces. These terraces marks a shoreline of a glacial lake as a receded during the retreat of the last ice age. So passengers on the trans Alpine train probably only about 4,000 years ago would have had a lovely view to the right of this point of a very large lake. Just out to our right here, just uh, rejoined back up with the uh, lovely Waimakariri River up here in the upper reaches. Good view of the uh, braided type nature of this river here in uh, Canterbury. All the uh, separate braids are uh, working their way down the uh, large bank of shingle. Across the river on the far side, that's the Mount Whitebridge area. One of the largest privately owned sheep and cattle stations here in New Zealand. Our beach is around 50,000 uh, hectares. It's around 75 kilometres from the front gate through to the rear boundary. We'll pass by a concrete vehicle bridge in just a moment's time across the river that provides access to the Mount White Sheep Station. As we pass by the concrete bridge, look down into the very beautiful, uh, lovely uh, Southern Alps water. So looking out there to our right, there's looking up the Horden Valley. Thank you. 